Hey guys, Scoring to Football here, back with another Wolves map review video. After map review video, after we lost one nil at home to Liverpool last night, with Diogo Jota re re returning to his former club, which was to us and scoring against us. Very tough one for us to take. But we all, we, everyone knew that it would happen. We we're predicting it to happen. I said one one before the start of the game. Just a score for Liverpool, um, Neto to score for us, except it was 1 0. So I got the goal score right for Liverpool. Wish it could have been right for us, though. I have to say, even though we lost, it was a much better performance from us, for us unlike last time when we lost 4 0 away at Anfield. Right then, guys, let's get straight into the Wolves Map Review video then. My thoughts on the game, onto the game now. My thoughts on the game are that we did. Play well, the problem was that we just didn't convert our chances. And Liverpool, well, Liverpool are not taking anything away for their performance. They, 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 were, they did play well, Liverpool, but I don't think they were any, anything special. And they certainly didn't dominate us. Perhaps the only pre played better because Jota scored. Got nothing against the lad for scoring against us. I always have respect for Jota. Even though he scored, it's good. Um, they weren't anything special like Liverpool. If they did play okay, they certainly didn't dominate us. Well, for Liverpool's goal, you just knew Jota would score against us, didn't you? I still got respect for him as, as he is a class player. You can tell why Liverpool brought him and how much we miss him. Because whenever we had Jota, we always looked so much threatening on the counter attack. We haven't got it, got it this season, really. But for the first goal he conceded, you for poor half time, which was heartbreaking for us. It was poor goalkeeping from Roy Patriciolo. I know goalkeepers get a lot of blame and stuff, but it went in off his hand though. Maybe our maybe our defenders could have done a little bit better at marking, maybe. We didn't really mark Joshua as well, but he really could. Well he could really. If it, if it is nil nil at half time, I'll, I'll be fine with that. I think we could then build on that eventually, but it's a bit more difficult when you can see, isn't it? After so many hard work you've done. But we do need to start turning up more in the first half, though. I thought we did yesterday, but we still need to do more, though. We need to score in the first half, is the main objective. A objective. I don't know how we didn't get a penalty first off. Right, right here, guys. Jamie Carragher, who is a former Liverpool player, said said that we should have had a penalty. That tells you that tells you something, and that's coming for a Liverpool side. That is. Well, VAR so told the referee to go and have a look at the monitor, which they haven't, unfortunately. Well, we are in much slut this season, season are we? With injuries, not, well, not much luck with injuries either, are we? At half time, we knew that we needed an even better se better performance second half. To have any, any chance of us ever levelling the scoreline. In the second half, we knew that Liverpool would be trying to get another goal so that they threw, didn't want to bottle the current lead they had. On our side, we needed an early goal. Which we what if we don't do this season, do we? Nowhere near like last season where we could like turn games around. We did play well second half with the Dharma putting in a lot of crosses. Actually testing Allison for once. It would be nice for us to sometimes actually have a shot. We did take William Jose off and replaced him with Fabio Silva, so another game without a goal for him, but he did play good though. He held up the ball really well. Overscoring it, it just didn't happen for him again. Another game gone where he hadn't got a goal. Later, we took off Neves and replaced him with Dendonka. I thought Neves had a decent game. He could score first half as well, and it was a great chance for him, the lad, the lad as well. Sometime after we brought off Semido and brought on Morgan Gibbs White, there wasn't much to report on Semido really. He didn't do much really. He's been poor, in, poor in my opinion, since he's come in. 
But we brought on Gibbs White, and when he came on, he went running with the ball. Soon after, he lost it straight away. So he isn't much better than Semedo, is he? He just he lost his control of the ball once again. Again, he isn't a massive game changer. That's for certain. He only came back from loan because he got injured at Swansea all the time. We still kept on looking for a goal in this game after the chances, but it still wouldn't come for us. After all the the changes we we made as well. Near the end of the game, an injury occurred. This time it was our goalkeeper Roy Patricio. This time this injury was a concern as he was down for ten to fifteen minutes. Originally we had five added minutes, five added minutes. The time went by due to that went by as he was on the pitch for more than seven minutes. Down on the pitch for more seven minutes. Excuse the medical staff still tr medical staff still treating him as it takes time. Rudy came for on um, for Patricio's but um for Patricio for him to make his first prem appearance all season. There are rumours he might be leaving at the end of the season. Rumours are rumours, we'll just see what happens, won't we? I must say about the added time, right? When most of the added time always tends to be up, you know I tend to get added back on again. Always tends to go really fast. And never get added back on. Well, we, we don't really be worrying about this. We th uh, we need to w f focus on the news of how Patricio is feeling now. When well, the news came out that Patric Patricio knew what knew what happened when he went went down and he was conscious after the game so that's good to hear. It's not as bad as the Raul Jimenez injury, thank goodness. Could the further Raul Jimenez injury he wouldn't even sew the footage. But he didn't really sew much footage on this one. Well he did, but well he did on this one occasion. I think the problem was he collided into Cody, I think they both collided basically. No basically I think after Liverpool had that Goal is offside. It wasn't a VAR decision. It wasn't. Yeah, it's offside. That's when the problem kicked in. In all that time left in the game, we still didn't get a goal. I imagine we didn't due to us worrying about the injury and how he, Patricio, uh, will recover. And us, I think, were worried about him. With the Raheem and injury, we still won. We still won, though. We were winning originally, though. Right, 1 0 to Liverpool, but the score we finished. We got a scoring against us, so really unfortunate for us to lose. But we should have converted our chances at the same time. If we would have done that, we could have got a draw. I'd have taken a point. Well, we didn't. With what it is, it is what it is, isn't it? If we would have took our chances, we wouldn't have lost. You don't know that we could still create dozens of chances and not scored. The most important thing was that Patricio is okay and that we didn't get brassed. On to the player ratings now. Start for Roy Patricio. Well, he was to blame for the first goal, though. I know a lot of keepers get stick for it more than the defenders. Well, the will kick cut him a little bit of slack due to um, his injury, but I'll still I'm going to give him a six out of ten still for that. But I would have probably given him a lot lower rating if he wouldn't have had the injury, though. I think that's fair. Willie Bolly, I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. He looks solid and organised, that I'll get on to soon. Uh, Colour Cody now. Well, he could have done better for the mark, for the marking and um, marking Jota to make sure he didn't get enough space. Maybe he was to blame for the goal, maybe. He could have stopped it. Took 7 out of 10. Roman Sace, well, it's the same with him as well. He could have um, he should have marked Jotter a lot better than he gave him a bit too much space. So it's 7 out of 10 again. Cody and Sage not saying they weren't bad, they weren't at all. Seven though, I'll give him a 6 out of 10. He's pretty poor again, really. He didn't really do much, did he really? Ruben Nevers, I'll give him a 7 out of 10. He had a decent game, this game. In the Villa game, he was actually rather sloppy, actually. He had a great chance, I thought that goal was going to go in. So 7 out of 10. Martini, I didn't see much of him really. He, he isn't really that consistent, so 6 out of 10. Johnny, I've given him a 7 out of 10. He's still doing really well after he's still 
got back into the team really good after his injury. Neto now, well, um, he did. He did have um, a bit of an off, an off game today. Today, Neto, to be honest. Yesterday, to be honest, um, I've given him. I think I've given him about. Um, I've given Neto six out of ten. One of the poorest games in a while. But you can't have a good game every get day, 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 can you? Every game, can you? What do you Jose? I've given him a seven out of ten due to uh, him still holding up the ball well and actually trying. Still, just won the goal for it. If he had a goal for he going in, in the of the match, then possibly an eight. I think every single game today is going to be the day when he scores. And every day I said that he still doesn't score. On um, Adama Traore now. Um, well, he, he has a good game in a while, maybe he could have done better. And he put in lots of crosses, actually did test Alisson though. So 7 out of 10. Subs now, I'm probably still, but I'll give him an automatic 5 out of 10, but I just don't know what he would have got. And he didn't look very good when he came on, didn't really want to change the game. Then Donka, I'll give him a 6. I didn't, don't know what to really say really. He wasn't poor at all, though, I'm not saying that. Gives the right giving him a 4 out of 10. He just doesn't like changing games. And he lost the ball when he comes straight on. And he never holds up the ball while he loses it all the time. And that Fonny really now giving him 5 out of 10 because he only came onto the pitch in a matter of minutes due to the injury. And this is concussion con con substitution for Patricio. On to my man of the match now. My man of the match is going to be Bolly, as he looked solid and organised, like I mentioned about him in the player ratings. I, I, I prefer having him starting level at the moment than Den Donker, because Den Donker is playing quite poor. Got nothing against Den Donker, who's a great player, but he does not have, have an in for him this season. He wasn't to blame for the goal conceded, or Cody and Sace, Sace maybe. maybe. They could have done a little bit better with marking players like Jota maybe giving him a bit too much space leading up to the goal though. Now we haven't got a game until the 4th of April due to the international break when we are set to play West Ham at home. So this is kind of a good thing. And now this is the time to actually get on and actually do something on the training ground and actually try and improve. Which would be nice. Have we got time to get better and improve over it? So we were lucky to get this international break really. Mm. Right then guys, that will be the end of the Wolves Match Review video now, so if you did enjoy today's video, do give it a like, do subscribe to the channel, and also turn on your notifications every time I make a video. Have a good one guys, have a good one everyone, up the walls, bye guys.